up guys? I'm in a server room today doing a maintenance on a couple of Liebert units. One very important thing you gotta do when you're working on server room equipment, if it has electric reheats, is to fire them up, test them with an amp probe. Okay, that way you know if they're working or not. The other important thing you gotta do is let them run for a bit, okay, because after a while they accumulate dust. All right, that dust sits on those heaters, and when the, the heaters warm up, that dust burns off. So you gotta burn off that dust during a PM. If you don't, what can happen is if the heaters don't run for a while, let's say they don't kick on for a year, for instance, the dust accumulation on those heaters can be enough to create enough smoke to set off the fire alarm or the fire suppression system, which is not a good thing. So let's check those heaters, and I'll show you what I mean and how to do it on this particular unit I'm working on. Okay, these three two-pole contactors, they're responsible for powering up the heaters in the circuit. Okay, so what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to increase the set point of the machine. So each of these contactors pull in and we provide power to the heaters. So we're gonna scroll down to set point and you can see that set point is the second LED. So we're gonna hit advance here, scroll down, we're set at 68. So to increase the temperature, we hit the increase button, go to 81, and then the contactor should pull in. I just heard one pull in. This is a very old unit, guys, so this technology is old, but it still works. So let's check these heaters out. So 17.1. On the first heater, let's check both legs. 18.1. Now we're gonna go and do the same for each of the other two contactors. Now when you're burning the dust off, you can smell a bit of a burning smell. Okay, if the dust accumulation is way too high, you'll really smell it. And like I said, you can set off the alarm in the room. So what I would suggest is that you bypass the fire alarm each and every time you work in the server room when you're doing this um, as a precaution. So guys, just keep in mind that the reheats in the machine, okay, they're not really there to heat the air up because there's a heat load in the room that's heating the air up already. What they're there for is dehumidification purposes. So basically what happens, if we want to dehumidify that room, we have to cool it. We need to get that coil, that A coil inside there nice and cold to remove the moisture, right? And when we remove the moisture, we are dehumidifying. But what can happen is if we get the set point, the cooling set point, and we still need to further dehumidify, um, we're going to have to keep running those compressors. So so we don't overcool that room what we're going to do is we're going to bring those heaters on and we're going to raise that temperature back up so we're basically running cooling and heating at the same time and that's how we de dehumidify a room in a server room application and any application really dehumidification is basically um, the cooling removing the moisture off the coil and then heating that air back up so we don't overcool the space you guys have an awesome day happy hvacking